Just got the rig stick for building antennas with my son. Unfortunately, to return the one I received because it arrived used when I paid new. Oh, I get that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, did I make a did I make the right analyzer? Have a do over now. Okay. So, um, the rig expert stick is a very capable, full featured antenna analyzer, and I think it. You know, depending on what you want to do, it it has a lot. Of, it has a lot of features in it. it doesn't have mm -hmm. some of the advanced features, like the like you know the more expensive models would have, say like the um, time domain reflexometer and things like that. Just say um, TDR. It's okay. TDR, I TDR, and yeah. Time domain but, reflectometer. Time domain reflectometer. <laughs> time, time domain, domain. reflect. <laughs> Smith chart. Smith chart. Smith chart. <laughs> It won't it, it won't do Smith charts on the display. The display's too small. But one cool thing about it is it's got Bluetooth connectivity. So you get the um, you get the app on your phone and you can download your sweeps and then do all of that, do everything you want. You can take your sweeps over to Antscope on the PC and you can and then you've got everything available to you to, to to look at like even even with the smith charts and the whole nine yards so it'll do it'll it'll absolutely do what you want it to do um mm -hmm. for for building antennas uh, i mean I've, I've got the stick and i've got the more expensive i think it's it's, it's like the 2000 um i probably well, use the 2000s the a beast yeah. yeah, it's a yeah. I mean, it does it does everything in, in mm -hmm. a kitchen sink. Um, the only time I ever use it is if I'm working on a project here at, at the house, though, um, mm -hmm. because if I'm in the field, I'm I'm always got the stick with me, and you know, testing and adjusting the stick will do it. Um, cool thing with the Bluetooth is you can leave the stick right next to the feed point. You can walk away, and you can you know you've got everything on your on your phone there. You know, mm -hmm. 25, 30 feet away from the antenna, so it's. Uh, I think it's, you know, absolutely. It, I, I think it'll, it'll probably do whatever you want to do with it, um, unless you're going to really get into some really crazy stuff. And then maybe, if you want to go that route, pick up like a Nano VNA for some of those, some of that right. oddball stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I agree. Like this, I think the sick is a great field um uh, mm -hmm. analyzer uh I, I i'm not a big fan of bluetooth and having the phone and everything but i get what you're saying you can stand 25 feet away it removes capacitive coupling from you and the antenna so you can mm -hmm. get a much, a much better idea of how the, it is performing so in that respect i think it's great uh, i think if you're like a full-time antenna builder if you are going to be doing a lot of experimenting and building at home i think you probably want the more fe full featured one but if you yeah. just want to just putz it around, you want to put take something out for a weekend. I think the stick is great. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily second guess yourself. Well, let's just say that. No. I mean, my my first analyzer was an MFJ two fifty nine, and the stick will run. <laughs> the Ooh. stick will run circles around it. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, everything, all of your sweeps can be saved. You can take mm -hmm. the stick back, plug it into the USB, and use Antscope on your PC for smith charts and everything else or mm -hmm. you know you've got that bluetooth capability and you can and you can you can you know do it with do it with your phone um yeah. so and you know it just just that is i think is um you know worth it the Anscope software and the and and saving you know saving things on the device are is worth the price of admission right there so you have an MFJ two fifty nine. I have a Bird mm -hmm. UHF VHF, <laughs> with, still with rechargeable batteries. And I bet you, if I turn it on right now, it'll come on. She is oh. a beast. <laughs> I bet you I haven't used it in a couple of years. Every now and then, if I got a butts with something VHF or uh, two meters, I'll yeah. pull that out just because it's a bird. Yeah. <laughs> Tierney was like he was trying to decide between the AA two thirty and the Stick two thirty. I think. Both of them go up to 230 megahertz. Um, I, I really how you know that. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like that. I like that e ink display, that monochrome display. It is so easy to read in the in the full in the sunlight. 
um, if you're using it outdoors. A, the AA 230 is going to have a bigger display, though. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, if you're, if if you're, you're looking, impaired like me, you really want the bigger display. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would say, like, the, if you're looking for a minimalist approach, go with a stick. If you mm -hmm. like a little more full featured or you just like a bigger screen, go with the AA. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, yeah, it's the sticks. I like I like my stick. I wouldn't I wouldn't give it up for anything. <laughs> right. Either way, whether you get the AA or the stick, you're still support, supporting a company that really needs the help right now. Uh, mm -hmm. The Experts is based in Ukraine. Uh, they've been able to continue um, producing uh, equipment even with the war. I mean, they've yep. they've actively said that over half their workforce has been on the front line. Uh, yeah. Yet well, they're still they're still producing. R and D is is R and D is still in Kiev, but um, manufacturing has almost entirely moved to Dubai now. So. Oh, is it in Dubai now? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So they've been able to they've been able to avoid a lot of the conflict um, and, and and you know still get their product out that way. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all right. Yeah. Donzi says, yeah, I love the stick for Poda. Absolutely. Mm. It's, um, it's, it's, um, beautiful for that. Yeah. In fact, what was it? Uh, probably three weeks ago, I did a quick mm -hmm. Poda run on a Sunday afternoon and yep. realized I left my rig expert at home. <laughs> <laughs> so like, what do I do? Well, I just extend the whip out all the way for 20 meters. I'm like, well, I'm into the fray guys. I'm not going to be on 17. You know, right. the whistle of the microphone, I, you know, you should be able to eyeball that, that whip length. And um, yeah, and you can watch the SWR and the radio and I was yeah, like, yeah. around with it, you know, get in there. Right. So, yep. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.